My name's Owen Hicks. My job title is Manufacturing Manager uh, here at Johnson Matthey. And my role is really to supervise a management team which is responsible for uh, around 300 people that are engaged in producing uh, catalysts and filters that go onto cars and uh, eliminate the pollution that comes out of cars. I joined the company directly from university. Uh, I did a degree in chemistry at Bristol University uh, and then I followed that up with a PhD at Bristol University in organic chemistry. There's not a lot of places these days where in, in industry where you can directly use that discipline so Johnson Matthews is one of the, the companies that, that do. So uh, I applied here, got a job uh, and started off as a, as a research um, scientist. After about a year with the company I moved to Brussels where I spent, uh, as it turned out, five years uh, working in the plant there. I was initially sent for two weeks and that turned into three months and then that turned into five years um, because um, a job became available out there to uh, run the technical support team. I loved working overseas. It was, it was a challenge but it was a great time to do it because I was uh, quite young. I was only 25, I think, when I went. I was fortunate that my a girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, uh, was able to come uh, directly from university as well and we both went into it quite naive. The first six months, nine months really, were, was, was very difficult. Like all these things, once you make one or two friends they become two and four and then they be snowball very quickly. So after a year we had a nice network of, of friends and, and felt like it was home. Uh, at school I enjoyed work, I enjoyed school work and, and I was quite good at it but my, my memories of school are basically just playing football constantly. Uh, that's really all I was interested in. All through my life, really, I've, I've played football, much to my wife's uh, frustration. When I was six or seven, I didn't spend a lot of time dreaming about what I wanted to be, I don't think. Uh, I, was, I was pretty happy just being a kid. I did want to be a, a rock star as well, I guess, uh, probably when I, when I was a little bit older. This nappy represents uh, what is important in my life at the moment, really, and, and what is dominating my life. I've, uh, my second son was born 11 weeks ago, and uh, that definitely gives you a, a proper perspective in life about what's important. One of the reasons I do my job is to be able to provide for my family, but at the same time, I need to provide for them by actually being there at home as well and, uh, and trying to be a good dad. My granddad, who who actually passed away at the age of 100, so he had a very good innings. But I remember um, he was, he's from, was from Wales, and he was almost a, a legend in, in, his, in, his, in his community, um, and he was unbelievably well-respected. And, and I never really saw that until I was a bit older and realised it. And, and looking back at it now, I can just see that the respect that, that he had from, from his, his community was, was, was incredible. So that, that to me, is, is quite a, an inspirational thing, really. If I could do more of something that I've done in the past, it would definitely be travelling uh, and I hope to, to do some more when, when the boys are a little older. When it was just my wife and myself, we spent uh, quite a lot of time seeing quite a lot of the world. Definitely it's something that if I could, when the boys are a bit older, then I'd love to see a lot of the rest of the world that I haven't seen yet because that is something that I uh, really enjoy doing and it's something that Having a job like this, it enables you to do that kind of thing every now and again.